back to the beginning, with the memory of the past loop already fading fast. But while it lingers, I know there's hope. We're not doomed to repeat our failures in an eternal loop. This is a spiral. A fictional poet once said, Beyond the shadow you settle for, there is a miracle illuminated. I will not settle for a shadow. I'll find the miracle through the night. It's not just victims and monsters. I see now there are heroes as well. We can find our way through the darkness. We will break through the surface. We will emerge into the light. God. Yes. 
Hemingway. He's Hey, kiddo. How are you? I'm good, Mom. How are you? This trip might take a little longer than I thought. I'm sorry I've been gone so much lately, Logan. Oh my god, Mom. It's not your fault people get all murdery. What happened? Just... work stuff. Right. Well, Dad and I are just watching the latest episode of Night Springs here. Mom, it's so good. No spoilers! I'll let you get back to the show. You were supposed to wait and watch with me. I love you both. This is what happens when you go on work trips, Mom. Love you too. I will. Bye, kiddo. Logan thinks you should try cheering up. <laughs> Snarky kid. Wonder where she gets that from. It can't be a coincidence that another body turns up just as we arrive in town. Feels like the killer's leaving us a message. Hmm. I'm glad you're on this case with me, Anderson. It's right up your alley. You should take lead. Think of me as the backup. Okay. Any words of advice? Nothing that would cheer anyone up. Here we are. Cauldron Lake. Time to get to work. The deputy was supposed to be here to show us to the crime scene. There's the car, so where's the deputy? <laughs> Eaten by a bear? I'll check out that map. You're the one who wanted to switch. I think I hear someone. All the way back Could be our deputy. Over here. Hey there. Agent Casey, right? Sheriff Breaker said you'd be coming by to take over the case. You're half right. Anderson? Saga Anderson. I'll be leading this case. Seems you already know my partner, Alex Casey. Shoot. Sorry about that, ma'am. I'm Deputy Mulligan. I just figured that... You know, that, uh... Federal agents right here, Thornton. My partner, Thornton, <laughs> down at the crime scene. He's not what you call the sharpest axe in the shed. Right here? What do you mean? Are they with you? Oh, shit! They didn't hear me, did they? The store, the campground, all of it. Thornton. I 
I need to think through the facts of the case. The Mind Place. My version of the Mind Palace technique. To sift through clues and work the case. Building the Mind Place again for each case. Using each field office as a model in my head. The lake is connected to Nightingale somehow. Casey, let's take a look down by the lake. Lead the way. Sounds good. Uh, this way, right? Right. Well, okay. Well, I'll just, uh, I'll just wait here. This one of your hunches, Anderson? Did something happen at the lake? I think Nightingale came up from that direction. From the lake. Probably looking for shelter. Safety. They were waiting for him. When you're ready, I'd sure. love to hear what you put together so it's far. It's not that complicated. Nightingale was out in the woods alone at night, possibly nude. The killers knew he was here, ambushed him, dragged him to the campgrounds, strapped him to the table, cut his heart out. But then they were interrupted by those witnesses, the bookers. The job is unfinished. That seems pretty complicated to me. The text is about us. The victim was one of their own. FBI Special Agent Robert Nightingale. Hey, you made it back. Good. I hope you didn't get stuck in any of those big puddles. Crazy flooding down there, huh? Just like I said. Let's get the car, drive to Bright Falls, and talk to these witnesses, the bookers. At the diner, right? I, I could use a cup of coffee. Let's try that shortcut the deputy mentioned. Sounds good. Seems like a nice town so far, murders aside. And why take out his heart just to throw it away? To stuff in something for us to find. Let's drive back to town and meet the sheriff at the diner. I can't get that manuscript page out of my head. I've never seen killers reach out so directly before. Damn impressive work so far. With your technique, these hunches were moving fast. I wasn't sure about taking a case so far from home, but I'm thrilled to be here for this mystery. Need to swing by the lodge to get anything from the field office? No, I'm all set. I'll park there anyway. I want to walk to the diner, get a feel for the town. The diner's just up the waterfront. Shouldn't keep the sheriff and our witnesses waiting. I smell coffee. Just how much coffee have you had today, Charlie? <laughs> Not to toot my own horn, but I am pretty Oh, dear. I mean, our float. You. You'll be the fella of all of this year, dear fella. Let me guess. The FBI. Welcome to Bright Falls. It's nice to have I got you, you both some coffee. Oh, it's Washington's finest. Nice to meet you, Sheriff. I'm set for coffee. You wouldn't say no to another? I'm Anderson. This is Agent Alex Casey. Tim Brinker. And let me just say, I'm happy you two are here. Frankly, we could use the help. Your deputy said that the witnesses here. They them sound like suspects. Mulligan and Thornton are still on about that? No, no, the bookers don't strike me as the murdering type, but you can decide for yourselves. They're just inside having coffee and pie to calm their nerves. I'll see what they have to say. Casey, you compare notes with the sheriff. Take your time. We've looked through the case files you sent over, Sheriff. Have you had many people besides the known victims go missing? Sure. I'm Agent Saga Anderson. Are you the bookers? That's us. I'm Tammy, and he's Ed. Hello, officer. Just Saga is fine, Ed. 
So are we being charged with anything? Because if not, we'd love to get back to our hotel and decompress after what we saw. Take a bath, screw into pillows, that kind of thing. We're not charging you. I just have a few questions. Nothing to stress about, okay? What were you doing at Colgen late last night? I'm a writer. True crime. We're here from New York, doing some research on a famous novelist, Alan Wake, who went missing here. The Cult of the Tree. What aren't the bookers telling me? I found their necklace. The symbol is two triangles. The cult wants their spruce tree back, Tammy. Finder's keeper is Ed. My publisher will want this on the cover. Tammy found something. So you found something there, right? A necklace these cultists may have dropped. Okay. Wow. How did you put that together? It's evidence. You need to hand it over. I told you not to keep that thing to me. Thanks. This could prove to be helpful. Do me a favor. Stick around town for now in case we have any more questions. <gasps> like we'd even dream of missing dear fellow. Oh, God. Saga! Saga Anderson. As I live and breathe. I thought we'd never see you back here after that awful awful thing happened to your baby girl how are you um i'm sorry who are you i don't know what you're talking about it's me silly rose you know me i don't think i do and what horrible thing happened to my baby girl she drowned your daughter that's so weird, you don't remember. How do you know I have a daughter? Oh, I know what this is. You're blocking out your traumatic memories. Happens on TV all the time. No. You're mistaking me for someone else. <laughs> if you say so. So, Rose, help me out. How do you think we know each other? We all know each other around here. It's been a while, but I never forget a face. Or a coffee order. Guess I just have one of those faces. This is exactly why I hate small towns. Keep it down, Ed. You know how touchy these rural types can be. A cult murdering a man is pretty extreme. Why didn't you tell the police what you saw? We did. We told those two idiot deputies they didn't listen. And they wanted to throw Ed and I in jail for that murder. You know, Bright Falls is just Alabama with bigger trees. This is my case now, and no one is throwing you in jail. If you need anything else, just come to me. Got it. Thank you, Saga. All set? My guys have Nightingale at the morgue, if you're ready to go take a look. Let's go. Well, Casey, I got a lead. Looks like we're dealing with a cult. The cult of the tree. A murder cult. Fuck. Have you heard of this cult of the tree, Sheriff? Only the urban legend. If you're in the woods at night, the cult will get you. That sort of thing. We're not gonna find out you're the Grand Wizard or something, are we? I played some D&D back in the day. Wizard was always my favorite class. Morning, Sheriff. Looks like you have some guests. Ah, morning, Ted. Yeah, real important guests. Deerfest. Always draws a crowd, right? <laughs> Too true. More the merrier. Have a good one, Sheriff. Hey, what do you know about that waitress from the diner? <laughs> Rose? Yeah, she's a bit of a space case. Always has been. Why? What'd she do now? She kept saying that my daughter drowned. She even knew my name. It was all very weird. Rose has a talent for saying the weirdest thing possible. But it's best not to take it personally. Hey, boss. Corpse is downstairs ready to go. 
Yep, in the morgue, all prepped. I'd like to take a closer look as soon as possible. Lead the way, Sheriff. Oh, this is the Bright Falls Sheriff Station. Anything you need, just uh, let us know. We appreciate the support, Sheriff. Hey. So we share a morgue with the funeral home next door. It's a shoestring budget. I guess you guys don't have that problem, though. Our only coroner rotates between a few other towns, and he's away this week. But you can handle this, right? I'm qualified to perform examinations. Yes. Something about morgues. They always cheer me up. I can't say I feel the same. He's joking. Okay, let's take a look at our patient. I'll start with the external inspection before performing the internal examination. It's the same type of page we found at Cauldron Lake. Nightingale hunted Saga. Didn't see her. The Taken could not see into bright light. Light hurt them, made them vulnerable. Nightingale had no heart, but here he was, killing. Someone's created a fucked up fantasy about us. Hey, hold on. We found these kinds of pages. I didn't think they were relevant to this case. I have them right here. Didn't see her. Could not see into bright light. He didn't have a heart, but he still got up. The page predicted all of it. It helped me fight him. Oh, oh, oh. He, he just disappeared? What the hell is going on here? We need to figure that out if we're going to do anything about it. Somehow we need to make sense of this. Right before things got crazy, Sheriff Breaker just vanished. Maybe the Sheriff knew more than he was letting on. Hmm. He seemed anxious. Like he dreaded what was coming. One more mystery. There is no rational explanation to what we just saw. I'd love to blame this on mass hallucination caused by inhaling volcanic gas, but we both know that's bullshit. This was supernatural. Well, I'm glad you were the one to say it. Now we can figure out a way forward. The victim of a ritualistic murder turns into a monster. Is there a connection? Looks to me like the cult of the tree is performing rituals to create monsters. Hmm, maybe. We need to start with learning this cult's goal, their purpose. Saga had to pursue Nightingale. 
into the overlap. Finding a way in would be difficult. A ritual. Saga would learn how. Stop the monster. Alice was dead. Scratch tortured her until she couldn't stand it anymore. Until she broke. And all that time, she thought it was me. Scratch was still here. He hadn't escaped the dark place yet. He was scratching my edits out of return. No! I had seen this before. This was not Scratch. This was me. Caught in a loop. I had stopped myself trying to fix the manuscript. I was the one haunting Alice. It was always me. I killed her. This is the ritual to lead you on. Your friends will meet him when you're gone. We did bring Wake back from the dark place, with the song and the clicker. But he didn't end up here now. He landed on the shore after I faced Nightingale in the overlap. Hey! Are you okay? <gasps> no! It's my fault! He cut out with my face! Scratch! That night I found Wake here. He appeared because of this the summoning that was wake scratch wasn't pretending to be wake they're the same Son person bitch. he's here scratch watch out anderson estevez scratch is wake with the dark presence inside him he wants the clicker change of plan i'll lure him to the cell when we're inside lock it and blast it with all you got On it. Damn it. Anderson, we lost power. You're back. <gasps> now I need to get him in the cell. Estevez, Casey, now! <laughs> to be the bearer of bad news, folks, but it's official. Tearfest is canceled. Today, Bright Falls feels a little less bright.
I had to get to Bright Falls. See this through to the end. I brought Saga... Anderson into the story to help me escape. She succeeded. It cost her everything. I'd used Alex Casey in my writing for years. The real Casey had been drawn here because of that. Now he was a victim too. Saga, Casey, Alice, all this horror originates from me. It's my fault. Scratch had to be stopped. I've driven down this road before. Been driving on it forever. If Scratch had brought the dark place here, this would take me back inside. In 2010, I had dived in. A leap of faith for Alice. With no idea that the cost would be a nightmare worse than death. It had taken me 13 years to get out. Now Alice was dead. Because of me. And I was going to make that leap again, this time knowing the cost all too well. Another way to look at it? I had brought the dark place here with me. I never had gotten out. Maybe after this I finally could. It was a fool's hope. I had no choice. I had to do it. That didn't make me any less terrified. Fuck it. This is not what I expected. Return shines a light on its author's brilliantly dark mind. Binding toward a forest. The novel begins as a murder mystery, but pulls the rug out from under and turns into an all-out supernatural horror. The tragedy of Saga losing her family is a blatant commentary on a woman's struggle to balance her personal and professional lives. <laughs> the stage fight scene. Departure is one upped by the absolutely mind frying dark ocean summoning. The gut wrenching ending in which Saga is left to die in the lake is modern horror at its finest. I could see the round windows of the writer's room in the photo. That's where I had to go. To rewrite the ending of Return. It's a sick, sick story! And I love it! A book to die for! Shit. I could get out through the back. book now. 
I could write my ending to return. I had to get to the writer's room to stop this horror story. This was an obsessive, egocentric nightmare, all revolving around a vain monster of a writer and his final divine work of art. The novel returned come true. It wouldn't stop here. It would keep spreading. I needed to reach the writer's room. Write a new conclusion. Was Scratch's insecure need for fame, for praise, drawn from my psyche? I would bring his sick fantasy crashing down around him. Alice? What was that? Alice was dead. Was this a trap? Or was Scratch torturing me? Pushy. Rose, right? From the diner. How are you here? <laughs> I'm here to save you, silly. I got your instructions. I found every hidden message you left for me. In the radio, in the wind, in the forums on my Alan Wake fan site. What? No, Rose, I haven't been leaving you any messages. Oh, I get it. Yes, Alan, only a crazy person would think you've been leaving them secret messages. <laughs> Wink. But now you need to get your butt upstairs, Alan. This shit won't write itself, no matter what William Shakespeare said. Right. Thank you, Rose. I'll do what I can. Upstairs. The writer's room must be in the attic. That's where the windows were. We loop around and come to Keter, Tom. I have put everything ready for the visitors. I'll come to wash the floor of your room next. All you need is water and pileda. Water is the oldest pulp. Water finds its way. What water brings, it takes away. It can be clean or dirty. It can give life or drown it. Akti. I didn't expect to see you here, but it makes sense. Can you help me find my way? One last time. Mm, now there's a devil in the fish trap. Don't be spooked by it so that shit won't start beating your underpants. Okay. I'll get the door open for you, Tom. There you go. The matter is a stake. Now comes the end of the rhyme. Thank you, Ahti. I 
was here. I needed to write the ending. I only had one chance to get this right. I needed an ending that took everything already in return and extended it into a conclusion that would save us. Only the perfect ending would work. Return's ending was an eternal deer fest that would keep spreading. Given time, Scratch would plunge the world into his nightmare. I had to stop that from happening. I had to write one more chapter for Return. A perfect ending that would save us all. I was the only one who could write it. Everything depended on this. On me. Any second now, Scratch would burst through that door to stop me. Every plot thread dangled in my brain. It suddenly felt impossible. Something stirred in the room, coming to me. An idea. There are only victims and monsters. The ending has to fit the genre. The ending has to fit the genre if it's going to work. In a horror story, there's only victims and monsters. If there is Aero, they will ultimately pay a heavy price. I won't let the horror story take Logan and Casey. They were dragged into this. They need to survive. Non-negotiable. Not just them. We need to try to save everyone. The ending will have to be dark no matter what. The more people we save, the greater the cost. And the hero must pay the price. The scales always need to balance. Something felt different. I'd never seen myself in a vision before, but it fit. Saga and I were both at the center of this story. She was now my co-author. This was the beginning of the end. Caldera Plaza is back through the subway. I have to hurry. Saga, I finished it. The ending we talked about. I have the clicker and the bullet of light. Let's do this. I have to be the one to do it. I feel like I've always been on this journey. Okay. It must end here, this darkness. What lies under the surface now shifts. A play of shadows catching my eye, thrusting my face into the water. He's here. It's shockingly cold. Past the mirror of the surface. And I will see. Casey? The end. Scratch! Now! <laughs> a white searing light of truth that for a flash pierces the shadows and reveals the hidden horror. And in that moment of silence, the whispered message finally heard. Come on, you motherfucker! Come on! Come on! What if there's nothing waiting to be revealed? 
The play of shadows fool us all. Subterfuge to get our price of admission. Darkness not as a monster, but as emptiness. We're none the wiser. No answers, no truths. The hero turns to look inside. It's destroyed by what he sees, and is redeemed. Saga said we're both heroes. I'll pay that price. So will she. We are here to kill the monster. I pray nothing comes after this. Nothing but sleep. This is how we win. Is it too easy? What if this is still the dark place? Another dream to wake up from, always coming back to the beginning. The memory of what came before burned away by this terrible realization. Maybe it's a mercy, forgetting. To know nothing when we loop around, back to the... Over. Anderson. You'll still need to go through the loop. But I will keep showing you the images you need to see. The light you need to see. Until you're ready. Ellen. I think we're getting close. <gasps> it's not a loop. It's a spiral. Yes? Hello. Uh, you don't know me, but you need to listen. Hold on. How did you know the clicker would be there? lost. He doesn't have the ending. He needs your help to finish the story. How am I supposed to help him from here? I could talk to him in overlaps before. My mind place is more powerful than I ever knew. We need to talk about the ending. Saga, what is this? My mind place. I've reached out to you like this before. But I understand more about it now. You see a visions too. I used to think they were ideas, inspiration. But they're real. Just like this now. Well, if the ending has to fit the story. This is how I see it. Return is a story about a story that comes true. And I'm a character in the story. Not just a character. The hero. Okay, a hero. In any case, I've been through hell to be here, and this is my life. It feels earned to me that I rise above the story and be there to create the ending. Yes, that's what we're doing here now. We're figuring out the ending I need to write. This isn't Scratch's ending, but this isn't your ending either. This is our ending. You aren't the only one deciding these things anymore. You're right. I can't do this alone. Every time I write, things only get worse. You beat this thing back in 2010, Alan. And here you are doing the same again. You're a hero, too. We're in this together. Then let's bring it home. The ending will have to be dark, no matter what. The more people we save, the greater the cost, and the hero must pay the price. One of the heroes. The scales always need to balance. <sighs> Fuck it. Let's go with this. Are you sure? There's no time for anything better. Scratch could be here any second. Then that's our ending. I have the clicker. I'll find a way to get it to you. And I'll get the pages down. See you on the other side.
Hello? It's me again. You need to go to the statue of Parliament Tower Plaza. To make your ending come true, you will need what's inside the shoebox there. The ending? A shoebox? Who is this? Agent Anderson. Is that really you? Sorry, this place likes to play tricks. Sheriff Breaker? What happened to you? How did you end up in the dark place? I was brought here. Snatched away from the morgue by a man named Orland Dorr. Been trying to piece it together for... Well, it feels like a long time now. Who is this door person? He's here. Somewhere. I've been seeing his face in my dreams for years. <laughs> this whole thing is insane. But he is much more than he seems. He's connected to all of this. I need to get to Parliament Tower Plaza. Do you have any idea where it is? This place, it's like trying to find your way around in a dream. I've been trying to map it, but it keeps looping, shifting. Like there were many versions stacked on top of each other. There is a page. Describes Dor finding his way through this place. I tried to follow the steps, but no luck. Can I see that page, Tim? Of course. In fact, it's the page I tried to give you back in the morgue in Bright Falls. Huh. Now that I think about it, maybe Dor brought me here to keep you from reading it. Here. I'm gonna keep looking for Dor. The closer I get, the closer I feel to waking up. I need to find the man behind the curtain. Morling Dor walked across the rain-slicked tiles of Caldera Street Plaza. He stopped at the door to the construction yard. A poster for his talk show hung there. This isn't goodbye, kiddo. Tom told us not to say anything about what's coming. But we'll see each other again. Saga, I finished it. The ending we talked about. I have the clicker and the bullet of light. Let's do this. I have to be the one to do it. I see it clearly now, this part at least. Okay. We have met here before. Time loops in the dark place. Every choice you make affects everything that comes before and after you make it. He's here. Like it does when you change a detail in a story you're writing. Casey? The end. Scratch! Now! <laughs> when the bullet of light blew the darkness out of the crater of my skull, the dark presence was born from the remains, feeding on the horror around it to grow. into me. Influenced me. I was lost in my work. The link was severed when I finished return, but the dark presence was hungry for more. And I was missing the small part of myself that it had been born from. Alice, love is strange. Even apart, we're still together in our memories. We put each other through hell to set us free. Again and again. Different versions of us. Alice helped me get there. Where I needed to be. It has taken so long. 
The process to change reality is so delicate. To be true in just the right way and still find a way past our flaws. So many drafts, so many photographs, so many lives lived outside of time. An eternity apart on this journey to finally arrive here. Over. Anderson. Logan? <laughs> Logan! Are you all right? I had a terrible nightmare. Can you come home, Mom? Oh, baby. It's over now. You're all right. I'm here. I'm on my way home. I love you. She's all right. The ending worked. Scratch is gone. At last. Thank you, my love. And so I return. With me, I bear the torch of knowledge, the light. The miracle illuminated. The master of two worlds. No. The master of many worlds. The full manuscript of a novel. Return. A horror story about the dark presence escaping from the dark place, taking over Bright Falls. I couldn't remember writing it. I had not written it. I would never write this. I knew who had. Scratch, a monster with my face. If this story came true, Scratch would get out, people would die. Destroying the manuscript, it wouldn't stop it from happening. I would have to fix it, edit it. I could not change the genre of the story. I'd have to work within the constraints set by Scratch. I needed someone in the story to fight the darkness. Saga Anderson. I kept seeing her in my visions. She was already in Bright Falls, already involved, but she was not in return. Not yet. I'd write her in, try to stop Scratch within the limits of the horror story. It was almost impossible. It was taking too long. I had not reached the end. before I could finish my edits to the manuscript. I needed a new draft of the story, one that would get me ahead of school. Zane had said we worked on Return together. That was a lie. Scratch wrote Return. I would pay Zane another visit. He had guided me to two murder sites. I needed a new one to get back to Parliament Tower. A new draft of initiation.
I don't have time for this, so let's get it over with. Tell me, was this all fake? A show? No one said otherwise, Mr. Wake. It was to indulge you, but we can stop pretending now. Uh, masks come off. Oh, I wouldn't go that far. I don't even think you know who's under your mask. But you know how to make things difficult for yourself. All these rules. Endless, convoluted loops you insist on going through. You are so lucky. You know. There are so many people helping you. Armies of people. Myself. Your wife. Alice. I need to get to her. She's in danger. She is. Because of you. And so is someone important to me, someone you pulled into this. You keep opening doors, peeking in, reaching through to get what you want, and that puts you in my path. I don't know what you're talking about. I have to go now. Maybe you will make it through this time. This has gone on long enough. This and our night springs, it was a nice distraction. It's time someone gave me a straight answer here. The next time we meet, the circumstances will be very different. And you would do well to return the favor by playing your part. Or stay out of my way, Mr. Wake. Whatever you say. Door, Zane, the masks were finally coming off. Was it a sign I was closer to escaping? I had no time to waste.